Oh, someone just hit it. Fish on, guys. Oh my gosh. First frogfish, no way. No way. That was awesome. What's going on everybody? Nick from 618 Fishing here. And I've noticed that I have not been doing much bass fishing videos lately, so that's gonna change today. I'm out here at this same pond where I caught my two personal best bass, so there's some really decent fish in here. And in this video, I'm gonna try some new techniques that I'm not exactly comfortable using. So I'm gonna start off with a topwater frog. I've never actually caught a fish using a topwater frog. I've always heard it's really fun. I've got the perfect frog fishing setup, a seven foot one inch jig and worm rod. So <laughs> I'm already set up for, for a successful day. I might switch up my base to something else that I'm not very comfortable with, but for right now, I'm gonna start out with the frog and hopefully I can catch a fish. So let's go guys. First cast in the grass, perfect. Oh, someone just hit it. Fish on, guys. Oh my gosh. First frog fish. No way. No way. That was awesome. Oh, that's a nice fish, too. Yes. There we go, guys. First fish that I've caught using a frog. And that was a lot of fun. Go ahead and let this guy go. There he goes. Just to go over the tactic that proved to actually be successful, I think that was like my third cast, but I was using this black frog. I just worked it really slow on the, really close to the shore and about halfway back, uh, that fish just nailed it. So let's see if we can't get another one because that was really fun. The bank fishing with the frog got a little slow, so I hopped on the John boat to get to some of these different parts of the lake. So hopefully I can uh, get a little bit more luck over here. I've been fishing with the frog for a few hours now with not even another bite. So I decided, even though frog fishing, that one bite was super exciting and fun, I, decide, I decided to try out a different setup that I have not caught a fish with, which is a swim jig. And this has got a floating worm hook on it, so it's pretty cool. Then on the hook, I put uh, Gary Yamamoto. It's a swimming Senko. So it's got a little tail on there, black with a blue flake. I think this will do pretty good. It's a little afternoon, so the sun is in full force and it's pretty warm out here. Let's see if I can't get a fish with this though. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, it's a nice bass, guys. Oh, this is a nice one. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. And check out that fish. I'd say it's probably about two and a half pounds, somewhere around there. I don't have a scale anymore, so I can't weigh him. But either way, really cool bass. And more importantly, oh, my worm came off. More importantly, my first fish with the swim jig. I was casting with that frog for about two or three hours. Not one bite, two casts in with the swim jig, and I got my first swim jig fish. Super cool. Go ahead and let this guy go. See you later, buddy. Woo, awesome. As far as retrieve goes, I really wasn't doing anything too fancy. 
I just try to retrieve it pretty slowly in about five or six feet deep water, keeping it close to the bottom. That's what caught that first fish and let's see if we can't catch another one, guys. There's a fish. Oh, it's a good one. Oh man, that's a nice fish. I don't think he's hooked that good. Oh, never mind, he's hooked good. Good hook set. Yes, awesome fish. I'd say he's probably about three pounds or so. Oh, the hook was barely in there. So this is the second fish with the swim jig and the Gary Yamamoto swim senko, I think it's called. Go ahead and let this guy go. <laughs> See you later, buddy. Sick. Woo. All right, guys. So it's going on about 5 p.m. and it's getting really toasty out here. I was about to call it a day, but I noticed this area over here in this part of the pond that looks like a really good spot to use the frog. So I'm gonna give this spot about 30 minutes or so, see if I can't catch one. All right guys, my 30 minutes are up. I'm not exactly new to bass fishing, but I always, sort of use the same things, usually like a Texas rig of some sort and soft plastic. It's uh, pretty fun to get out here and try some techniques that I have not done before. And to catch fish is, well, that's just a plus. Oh, it's a big one. I think this might be a PB. I wish I had my scale. Darn. Oh well. It's about a six and a half footer. It's skinny, it's not very healthy, but it's a big one nonetheless. All right, see you later, buddy.